been given the authority. Why? Because in marriage, the person who is the loser is the man, not the woman. The woman gains. If you heard my talk last week on last Saturday, in the... Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, like I said, do not forget to subscribe. Um, on this channel, we post reactions, but we've got other things that we do. We've got a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse. 2.0 you can check out our vlogs if you want to see us vlog something in specific something specific let us know in the comment section below otherwise just hit then enjoy the whatever we've put out on this channel like i said it's just reactions feel free to give us reactions that you want to see on this channel also i'd like to give a big shout out to the subscribers you guys are the best we wouldn't be here without you guys other than just these channels you can also find everything else to do in the comment section below, in the description section below. We've got a Patreon podcast on social media, or we're doing the most, but just check the links in the description box and let us know what you think. Otherwise, a big shout out to everyone that's been sub subscribing. You guys are the best. Don't stop here. If you know someone who hasn't subscribed, subscribe, share comment everything thank you for doing all those things like i said we wouldn't be here without you guys also i wanted to say i hope you guys are doing right not health wise but physically as well mentally as well spiritually as well i hope um we're taking this time of lockdown quarantine isolation and we're taking this time into consideration and doing maybe things we were we thought we were too busy to do hope for finding ourselves hope for growing hope i just hope everything is fine you can let us know how you're doing in the comment section below and we'll be glad to respond to you guys so today as you can tell from the title um i will be reacting to do women have a right to divorce in islam i think this is dr zaik naik i'm excited to see or read that or to see the answer to this so without wasting time let's get into the video good evening sir my name is simi my question is why are the other ladies not allowed to divorce their husbands in islam this is the question that why aren't the ladies allowed to divorce their husband as far as divorce is concerned sister broadly you can categorize divorce into five categories. One is by mutual consent of the husband and wife both. First category. Second category, unilaterally by the will of the husband. Third category, that if it is mentioned in the Nikah Nama, when a woman is marrying a man, if she mentions the contract, by default, the authority is given to the man in the Quran. Why? I'll come to it later on. But, in the Nikah Nama, since marriage is a marital contract, a woman can put down any clause in marriage which is not prohibited in the Quran. She can even say that I do not want my husband to take a second wife because marrying more than one wife is not compulsory in Islam. If the boy agrees, he marries, otherwise they don't marry. She finds a new boy and he finds a new girl. But she can put the clause that I do not want you to take a second wife as long as I am alive. But you cannot put a clause which is against the Quran. You can't put a clause saying, I don't want you to offer prayer. Because offering salah is compulsory. You can put a clause which is optional. Similarly, she can put a clause that I too want to give unilateral divorce. It's called a salah ke tawfid or isma. Third category. Fourth category is, if she does not mention in the clause, but yet she wants divorce, she can request the husband, I don't want to stay with you. She can request the husband to give divorce, that's called a skola. And the fifth category, if the husband does not agree and if the husband ill-treats her, she can go to the Qazi, she can go to the judge and she can take nikah fask That means nullification of the marriage. If the husband ill-treats her, does not give her her rights, she can go to the judge and she can nullify the marriage. So even a woman can take divorce. But under normal circumstances, the man has been given the authority. Why? Because in marriage, the person who is the loser is the man, not the woman. The woman gains. 
if you heard my talk last week on last Saturday, in the talk, Women's Rights in Islam, Subjugated or Protected, I mentioned that during marriage, the woman is on the receiving side. The Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 4, that give to the woman in marriage a marital gift, maher. In marriage, it is the husband who gives to the would-be wife an amount, a maher. And maher can be any amount. So imagine, before she's married, it is the duty of the man, duty of the father and the brother. After she's married, it is the duty of the husband and the son to look after lodging, boarding, clothing, all financial aspects. And if divorce takes place, it is the duty of the parents to look after her. If not the parents, it is the duty of the society to look after her. If not the society, it is the duty of the Islamic State to look after her. So she is financially secured. If divorce takes place, the man gives the divorce, he loses the mahar. But the woman, she is on the receiving end. Now, she has a chance to get married. Once she gets married, she gets new mahar. And the man, when he has to marry another woman, he has to give new mahar. If the full authority is given to the woman, the woman keeps on marrying and divorcing, then she will keep on gaining money. Who is the loser? It is the man. The Almighty God even protects the man's status. Otherwise, I have to give a talk on man's rights in Islam. Because if a divorce takes place, man is more of a loser than a woman. Financially and otherwise. Woman gets protection from the family, from the society, from the state. Man doesn't. So because of that, Allah Almighty God has secured the man. But yet if the woman wants, she can mention the marital contract. She too can give divorce. Or she can request divorce from the husband called as Kula. Or if the husband ill treats, she can go to a judge and she can nullify the marriage, which is called as Nikai Fask. Hope that answers the question. Yes, thank you. You're very interested. Um, I'm even shocked women can divorce the husbands. I'm one of those people that assumed or just thought that it was impossible for women in this situation to serve a divorce or just divorce their husbands. Um, this is. Uh, has brought more light or shed more light concerning this topic. I mean, it's not everything, but it's just part of this topic that we've learned from this video. I mean, I feel like it's fair. If you're being mistreated, you can go to the judge. Simple. If you feel it's like you're not being given something in a relationship, in that marriage, it's simple. Otherwise, like he said, at the end of the day, women are secure, whatever the case, and not much harm comes to them. I mean, not harm, but I mean, no one ever wants a failed marriage. And marriages fall for different reasons in this world. And to think that those five ways for a woman to look at when wanting a divorce, that's interesting. Although, although the first, the first one was, the, I, fe I felt like the first one and the fourth one were the same. Because it's more like mutual understanding. Mutual understanding should be the best way to nulli nullify a, a divorce. But otherwise, people, if there are laws that are strict, then follow them. Because people will be divorcing every other day and divorce is quite bad. No one should ever have to go through such a thing. But if you're both happy and are content with the situation, so why not divorce otherwise? I've never been divorced and I lack knowledge concerning this topic but if you guys know more than I do feel free in the comment section below and shed more even more light and I just loved everything about this video it was straightforward let me know what you guys think about it also let me know what you think about my reaction Otherwise, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and I feel like I'm missing a point. Let me see. At the, at the end of the day, I just feel like when divorce is bad, whatever the situation is, divorce is bad. That's why we need to work on our communication. Communicate so that you don't ever find yourself in such a tough manner where you just have to say, no, I'm done, I have to walk away. Walking away is hard, but imagine the years you've, you've, you have invested in something, which is just, I don't even know. Anyway, my battery is low, so let me know what you guys think about this video, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.